Okay, folks, with that uh, Emerson uh, R167, for the most part, behind us on the electrical side, we'll wait for the weather to improve to uh, get started on the cabinets, and I'll probably do uh, three or four cabinets at a time after I get some of these electrical restorations behind me. But back on this Cena 5S29, you can see I've got it in my uh, chassis holder that I uh, built for that uh, garage ready yet and, uh, and it's worked out perfect because the uh, threaded rods that I had cut uh, were the uh, perfect length for this chassis as well so no changes or modifications were required all right I want to start out uh, one thing that I have not checked on the radio again for those that have followed and I'll put a link here for the uh, playlist in the video, but we've already checked all the uh, the coils been working on the power transformer but uh, these candom resistors are always problematic and I'm sure I'll probably end up needing to replace it but I would like to check it and just see and you can already see this section right here appears to have already been replaced with this big power resistor here but uh, let me grab the uh, the meter and uh, let's do some DC resistance measurements just for the heck of it and uh, see what kind of condition this thing's in and compare the uh, results against the uh, schematic values. Okay, I'll reference the uh, picture in picture um, so we can kind of follow along here. You guys can see where I'm testing in the circuit. But uh, uh, let me go ahead and get the meter turned on. And again, I'm going to check this section of the uh, candom, which is no longer the candom. You can see a modern day uh, power resistor has been put in place and just referencing the schematic here. It uh, calls it out as an 11 ohm. And again, that's an uppercase, so that would be 11,000. And you can see uh, we're pretty close here 10.35K. So it would be uh, 10,000 uh, plus ohms of uh, DC resistance. Okay, the uh, next. Uh, section here on the candom shows it should read about 5700 ohms and again we're looking between this point and this point we'll see what we get here that's reading high that's uh, a little better there I tried to uh, clean some of these connection points up a bit, but you can see there I'm reading about, uh, what, 360, it keeps dropping, 312, 310, 320, moving around, 1,000 ohms, because again I'm looking at 0.315 ohm, which would be in millions. So, uh, not looking good there for sure. No surprise, these things uh, never had any luck with uh, candom resistors that are in the radio. If you find them good, you're lucky. All right, let's move on to the uh, next uh, section here. And you can see we're way off. So, again, another section of the uh, candom that's defective. Let's check this last section. Okay, this uh, last section here shows 250 ohms on the schematic, and we're reading a little high, not surprising, about 400 ohms. See it there moving around. Let me try to make sure I've got a good connection point here. Looks like I'm closer to about 393 ohms of resistance. Again, it shows I should read about 250. Let me go back to that uh, 85 ohm section one more time. Okay, no surprise here that uh, section is bad. So um, I'll use a drill, get these pop rivets out, or uh, use my uh, pop rivet tool and uh, get these rivets removed. Uh, so I've got a rivet on one end, screw on the other. We'll put in some power resistors. Uh, We'll look at the best method and procedure for doing that in a future video. So uh, I think uh, next up, 
we'll go ahead and start. Uh, I want to get this taper back in in the center, and uh, go ahead and start getting these caps replaced. And uh, we'll check the resistors along the way. And again, we know we've got to tackle this, and uh, maybe we can make this thing sing uh, before the end of the weekend. See if we can get anything out of it. Thanks for watching.